just starts right up. side as well. Make sure the washer spray. And then aside from that, they came off pretty easily, but we're going to reach inside. A little bit tricky. Both hands were stuck. I was able to free them. I was still able to put them in there. And so that could be part of the problem. Who knows whether that would be. And now we'll just take the rest of the part and see uh, what we've done. Pretty gnarly. Um, that would explain why I could never flush it out. And the drama is my brand new racing radiators don't freaking fit the car. They're the wrong shape, the mounting brackets are in the wrong spot, so everything's wrong. I'm just like, Rrr. so I contact the vendor, we'll see what happens. But most likely I'm just gonna take these ones out and try and get those peanut butter out and see if I can put it back together. And hopefully I'm not taking the car apart twice. So this is me with my sad face. It's a different day. <clears throat> hey. um, clearly, that's why I didn't clear the radiator because they were just filled with must. The new ones, they're really different size. You see these little mounting brackets? Um, they're on the bottom on mine. So I got the wrong radiators. I'm really irritated. Um, trying to save money has just burned me. Um, so I'll see what the people say. I sent them a photo of what the issue is, which should be pretty obvious. I'm just irritated because it's Thanksgiving weekend and I was really expecting to get the car back together and take it for a test drive and with a little bit of luck it'd be fixed. Um, but since the car's apart, we're going to spend some time and try and uh, check about the radiator fans. So let's do that. All right, so these are the cooling fan assemblies, I guess. Um, when I pulled them off the car, they were stuck, which means they hadn't been operated in a while, haven't spun in a while, or but the car had sat for a while, and they were when they had spun them, they made a crunching sound. Um, I don't know if they work. Um, this is a uh, 7.4 volt uh, battery for a radio control car. I've just made a little widget on the end so I can uh, touch the connectors on the inside of the battery. I know that these are 12 volt batteries, but I believe they run at variable speed. So, oh, schmegma. Um, in theory, I should be able to So that fan is confirmed good. Um, so what about this one? Um, oops. Well, that's good because these little fans are super duper expensive. Oh my gosh, I think they're like $600 each. So um, the fact that the fans are good is a plus. That means there's this little control module in there that could be bad, or the fans are really just stuck with debris from who knows what, or they just sat for too long. Um, I know that we're in November now, and the car broke down in February or March. Um, I bought the car in September. I don't know, we'll get it sorted out, but that's good news. That's a big savings. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with these silly radiators. Probably just order the stock ones and figure out how to return these ones or find someone who wants to buy them and just take a loss. I don't know. Um, 
to it that people say, but I'm really irritated because I wanted to play with the car this weekend. My goal is to have this whole thing sorted before Christmas. At least the engine part. There's other little things. Those, this car will keep me entertained for a long time. It's got a lot of goofy things wrong with it. But... Holy smokes. Really? All right. Next. You know what? I don't want to drive a car. Let's take the white one. 